And uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to uh, a very special edition of New Distributor Training. My name is Fred Holmes. I'm an independent distributor with Zija. And uh, I'm excited about being here and getting to be the trainer this morning. Um, we, I have done a lot of preparation over the last several days specifically for this training. And, and I'm gonna share with you why that is in just a moment. Uh, but what I want to do, you know, some preliminaries. First of all, welcome to all of you, of course. I'm excited that you've taken time out of your day to join us. Uh, most of you, and, and I know that because I watch the numbers, most of you are actually watching this on the video recording, uh, uh, you know, the recording, the playback on the YouTube channel. And the, you know, certainly you're welcome. I'm glad you're doing that. Um, the advantage of being here in, on Saturday morning is that you get to be part of the interactive process. And I, I learned a long time ago, um, there is certain value in being able to provide information, uh, you know, to be in an environment, you know, a seminar, a webinar, where you can sit back, take notes, uh, gain information from, uh, from another person that maybe has had more tenure, more time, more experience, what have you. But the greatest value that I have personally seen that I can provide is not during the training, but rather in the Q&A session afterwards, because this is where we take the information and we put it into your life. And so uh, I'm very grateful that you have taken the time to be here. And I know that a lot of you, you know, are multitasking right now. I know that some of you are, are watching the training while you're at your kid's, uh, you know, soccer game or baseball game, okay? Why do I know that? Because many of you have done it and told me. I know some of you are watching the webinar while you're driving. Hopefully you're listening to the webinar, not watching the webinar while you're driving. Some of you, are, you know, got your earphones in and you're, you're pretending like you're listening to a podcast so your spouse doesn't know you've tuned into a, to a, that company training, right? I know that because some of you have said that. So uh, uh, I appreciate that, that many of you are multitasking, but if you can, in particular today, I encourage you to grab your journal, your notebook, whatever you're using to start archiving the information, um, you know, the knowledge that you're going to be gathering over the next, you know, many weeks and months that, uh, and, and hopefully years uh, that we'll be working together. And today, uh, this is a little bit different for me today because of what's happening with our company right now. Uh, I am uh, feeling a tremendous obligation to share information that was shared with me some 35 years ago that literally transformed my life. Okay, some of you know my story. Um, uh, I was a cross country truck driver back in the mid 80s. And, uh, you know, and I love driving trucks, okay? That, that, that type of work fit me like a glove. You know, I'd done many things in my life. I, you know, I'd worked for the county, but I gotta tell you, uh, truck driving was the only thing that I was ever able to do for more than about a year at a time because I just did not fit into the normal situation. Uh, my career working for the county, uh, that was a disaster. Okay, uh, you know, I was a young man, I was out of school, I got, you know, what I thought was my dream job working for the county, great pay, uh, great opportunity, great security. And I very quickly found that that job was sucking the life out of my soul. I just couldn't keep doing that. It wasn't for me. And I'm not saying that isn't for everybody, um, you know, but let's be realistic. Most of us that are part of this great venture, you know, um, being self-employed in our own home-based business, we're not like everybody, okay? I mean, let's be realistic, we're not. We're a different breed. And so driving trucks for me was the dream come true because I could earn, you know, uh, my, my income was dictated by how much I was willing to work. And I've always been a hard worker. Um, you know, I had, you know, the ability to schedule myself. Now, what that meant was I had to figure out how to put 18, 20 uh, hours of driving into a 24 hour day, but I could pick any one of those four or five hours that I didn't drive that I could do whatever I wanted, right? Uh, it, you know, I was, I was in, in control of my own life as soon as I got away from the loading dock 
Uh, this, this predates cell phones and GPSs and all that sort of thing. I could go 24 hours without checking in with the dispatcher. Here was the big problem I had. That job, as much as I loved it, was not gonna provide the resources I needed to provide for my older son as he was entering school. Okay, he had a lot of educational challenges. It was going to be incredibly expensive to provide the, the resources necessary to help him become everything that he, that he could become. And it was my responsibility to empower that. And so as a cross country truck driver in my early thirties, what I realized I needed to find a way to create, you know, above average income, substantially more than what I was earning. But I also had to have a lifestyle that was significantly above average, where I had lots of time freedom, flexibility in my day-to-day -day schedule, where I could call my own shots. And the only place I could find that was in this profession of network marketing, home-based arena. Uh, back in the days, we called it multi-level marketing, which is actually the term I still prefer to this day. And that's kind of prompted me to formulate, and we're going to be doing this over the next several weeks. So I'm going to be bringing back to today the things that made all of the difference in the world. And I want you to, to, to grab your notes, okay? Or you're in your notebook, maybe you're using the old spiral bind no, uh, notebook like I did in the early days. Maybe you got the fancy, you know, leather bound journals like, like I got today, got a bunch of these. I actually buy them like four or five at a time, that way I never run out. When one's empty I, or full, then I can go to the next one. And, and what I wanna do is I wanna be able to share with you the kinds of things uh, that just not for me, okay, but for so many other people have made the critical difference between who we were and who we have become. And so I'm going to break this into two parts today. Um, first part, I'm going to I'm going to share with you a um, you know a, a skill set, okay, because everything that we do is either you know, personal development or skill sets development. And I understand that most of you have come here because you're, you're, you you're want to figure out how. how. How to do this. How do I get a customer? How do I get a distributor? How do I make, you know, that two or three hundred dollars a week that, that was my initial goal? How do I make that two or three thousand dollars a week that is now my new goal? And so let me do this in three stages. Number one, for those of you that are brand new distributors, or, and probably equally as important, if not more so, for those of you that are, have been distributors with us for a while, or you've been involved in a previous network marketing company, I strongly encourage you to take 30 minutes, go to my YouTube channel, and watch the first um, uh, video in the playlist. It's called New Distributor Training. It is exactly, well, it's 29 minutes and 47 seconds. Some, you know, it's 30 minutes long. Do yourself a favor, arm yourself with the basics. Um, uh, uh, Laureen, maybe you can help me and just throw into the chat box, you know, the, uh, the Fred, you know, youtube.com forward slash Fred Holmes Asia forward slash playlist. Uh, Folks, by the way, if you, if you, for those of you on your smartphones, if you tap the screen, you'll pop up the, uh, the little chat bubble. Uh, I love it when, when Laureen joins us on this because she is, you know, she's so good at captioning everything and, and putting in the information and what have you. So um, thank you very much for that, uh, Laureen. But if you go to the YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Fred Holmes Zija, look at the playlist. There'll be four videos there. The first one is the one I want to direct you to. Make no mistake about it. In today's world, the people that will succeed at the highest levels will be doing the things that you're not even aware of, okay? I, one of the things that's prompted me to, to, to kind of switch things up, I have seen over the last you know, few years, this onslaught on social media, LinkedIn, Facebook, all those kinds of places of people who are, uh, um, they, their primary uh, uh, focus in life is to teach you how to be successful in network marketing. And, and I get the desire, all right? That was one of the primary reasons that I joined this company 12 years ago 
Uh, I'd been very successful in the industry. I retired after 10 years. Uh, for a number of years, I was outside of network marketing. I got to enjoy the kinds of things in, in you know, my mid 40s that people dream of doing. And by the time they hit their mid 60s so they can retire, they're too old to do it. You know, I got to raise my first grandbaby. I got to work if I wanted to. I mean, it was, it was a beautiful life and it took a relatively short period of time to be able to get to that point in time where I no longer had to work. Now, what I'm seeing today is this onslaught of you know self-proclaimed self-professed uh you know multi-level marketing gurus lead generation uh and what's interesting is that i'm i'm bombarded on linkedin by people that that want to show me how to build my business how to generate you know customers how to generate distributors using their special techniques their special tactics their special program and the problem is 99.999% of those people have never done the deal okay they've never done it and i and and i am 100% uh in favor of and supportive of each one of you seeking to learn about our profession, to, to grow, to become better at what we do, to become a professional. Here's the problem. You have to be careful about who you are learning from. Okay, it's one of the silliest things I've ever seen. It's our educational system today. Young people going to college, spending tens and hundreds of thousands of dollars to learn how to do things that their professors never done. They got a degree in it and they spent their life teaching it, but they've never done it. And so you have to be very, very careful. Who is it that you're learning from? And, and, and don't for one second think I'm saying, telling you that I'm the guy, that I'm all that, because I'm not, okay? I just happen to be a guy who had the opportunity many years ago to be taught and work with a million dollar earn see if you're going if you want to learn how to play golf at a high level please don't come to me okay because i'm not that guy go to somebody like tiger woods find a scratch golfer and ask if you can hang out with them that's who you want to learn with from but be very conscious of who you are following because very few people out there that are purportedly sharing with you how to build your business have really ever done it. And so, hope I didn't offend anybody. And uh, for those of you that paid for that program, try and get your money back, okay? This is free, we do this for free. So, uh, I want you all to start with the fundamentals. Go watch that video. In particular, those of you that have been around for a while, go watch that video the uh you know the new distributor training video uh if you've watched it in the past do yourself a favor go watch it today okay be firmly grounded in the fundamentals as we move forward in this you know epic journey we're about to undertake now i want to talk about one skill set okay and we're going to start with that this morning and then i'm going to go to a second topic and then i'm going to open up for uh, questions and answers because again that's probably the area that you're going to get the greatest amount of benefit from one of the most important skill sets that you will ever, ever have in our profession is the ability to share the story. Now, there's a reason for that. Being able to share the story creates a formula that enhances duplication. If there's a single thing that, you know, my secret to success it's not a secret i'll tell anybody but if there's a secret out there it's that i've mastered simplicity because it's duplication of what we do that creates success in our profession duplication is the key to success and so you will never hear me talking about you know very unique specialized you know talents and skill sets uh, I'm never going to talk about, you know, social media and, you know, capture pages and lead generations and all that sort of thing. 
I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying that 99% of the people can't do it at a high level. Okay, what I learned is something that the masses, the 90 percenters can duplicate. Because if you can teach one average person how to make $100 a week, and they can turn around and teach one average person how to make $100 a week, what would your business look like if you had 10 people earning $100 a week, or 100 people, or 1,000 people? And guess what? Of those people, there will be some that will go on to earn two or three hundred dollars a week, or four or five hundred dollars a week, or two or three thousand dollars a week. And what we have ahead of us is an opportunity for the average person to be able to do incredible things. And 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 I'm talking about money, okay? And and I and I want you to understand, I'm I'm not making money out to be the end all end all okay money is not the deal okay we talk about money because it's a great uh scorekeeper it's a great uh way to analyze it's because you know the the the, the numbers do not lie okay what you are doing uh is going to to, to measure it you got to have something to measure it by and that just happens to be a great measuring point to determine your effectiveness, your value in the marketplace, the, the value you bring to other people's lives, because numbers don't lie. Numbers are numbers. They either are or they aren't, they're, they're whatever they are. And so the, um, I'm going to get distracted here, but the, the story, if you learn how to share the story, and there's many stories you're going to share, but if you learn how to share the story, then that becomes the most duplicatable thing that you can teach because everybody can share the story, okay? Everybody can share a story, share a joke. They hear it once, they can repeat it. Uh, I, I, I remember when little Jeremy heard a joke, he was trying to, to uh, 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 share it with me and it was, a, it was a corn joke, right? Corny, like, you know, uh, corn etiquette. Anyway, see, some of you don't realize what goes on in this brain. It's like a three ring circus up there. I'm just excited when I can actually get through the training and say everything I meant to say. Back on track. Um, different stories you're gonna share. You're gonna learn to share the story of the company, okay? The company story. Many of us learned how to share the Zija company story, the Ken Brailsford story, the Moringa story. Um, we'll be transitioning as we share the story of Zija merging with the multi-billion dollar company Isogenics. Um, the product story, you know, the origins of the product, um, you're gonna wanna be able to share that story. And the, it's really the stories of the results people have had on the product. The opportunity story, okay? That is gonna be one of the big motivators uh, that, that you're gonna be able to have to cause people to wanna learn more, okay? Um, and, and, it, and it doesn't have to be the story of making millions. Let me tell you the story that's going to get most people excited about hearing about your business. The story of, you know, a young couple making an extra two or three thousand, uh, two, two or three hundred dollars a week, an extra thousand dollars a month, an extra ten or fifteen thousand dollars a year without having to get an extra job or work on the weekends or work the night shift that can change people's lives. That's the story you need to be telling, okay? Now, there'll be some people you'll need to tell another story to, you know? I mean, if you're talking, you know, if you're talking to a guy like me, you better be talking about making $1,000 a day or you don't got my attention. But that's a very small percentage of the people you're gonna be talking to. Learn how to tell the story of the company, the product, the opportunity. But the most valuable story you will ever tell is your story. And I want to give you that, uh, break that down for you so you understand exactly how to do that. These are the things that were shared with me 35 years ago. Now, I had, a, I had an advantage over the average person, not because I was a truck driver. I had an advantage because of why I needed to succeed here. It was so important to me to be able to provide for my son. And the level of income that I needed to do that in my mind meant I had to become rich. 
because as I understood it at that point in my life, a six figure income, $10,000 a month, that was rich. I mean, I really couldn't, honestly, I couldn't even con you know, conceive that. I had to take $10,000 a month and break it down into dollars per hour before I could actually have you know, a, a, a feeling for what that really was. Because $10,000 a month, I couldn't, I couldn't conceptualize it, right? So as I understood it at that time, that was rich. And that was so far beyond what my belief system was I could do. The reason I did well is because I knew that I didn't know how to do this. I had no clue. And I was fortunate that my original sponsor, my very first company, he already was a million dollar earner. He already had what I wanted. And because he knew what to do, all I did was strive to follow what he told me to do. I didn't ask why. I didn't, you know, second guess. Well, maybe we could do it a little bit differently and it'd be a little bit better, a little bit easier. I simply did what he told me to do. Now, I'm not trying to tell you I was some dumb truck driver, right? No, no, I was smart enough to realize my sponsor wasn't going to make any money off of me if he didn't teach me everything he knew. That part I figured out. So I, I, I wasn't just blind faith, right? But I'm sharing that with you because one of, the, one of the very first things that I was taught was the importance of my story. And when I started, I didn't have a story, or at least in my mind, I didn't have a story. But I did have a story. It was a story in development. So uh, hopefully your, your pen is warmed up. You're going to write this in your notes. Three components to your story. And there'll be three components to the company story. There'll be three components to the product story. There'll be three components to the opportunity story. And we'll cover those in later sessions over the next probably eight to 10 weeks. Uh, but I want to cover your story because it's the most important one. Three components to your story. Number one is your background and motivation to get involved. Now, your background, you know, I was a truck driver, you know, uh, um, we've got uh, um, Mike Crane, he was a, a successful business owner. Um, you know, you, you could be, you know, a stay at home mom, you could be, uh, you know, a housewife or you know, maybe a house husband, right? Uh, you could be, I live in California, I'm so woke. Uh, you could be, uh, you know, maybe, you know, you were, uh, you know, uh, you know, a doctor, a lawyer, uh, whatever your background is, whatever your background is, you worked in sales, you were, you know, you were, uh, you know, in, in healthcare, uh, you know, a nurse, whatever your story is, that background is a critical ingredient in the story, because it starts to document that people from your walk of life have interest in what we're doing enough stories shared, then you start to appeal to everybody. Because if you look around, you know, we have teachers in Zija, we have truck drivers, we have doctors, we have lawyers. We try to keep the lawyers out, but that's just a personal thing on my part. We, you know, we like the lawyers too, right? Not really, but we do, right? We do. Uh, <laughs> most of the lawyers that I know have a sense of humor about being a lawyer. Uh, so your background is, is, is critically important to the story because it demonstrates and documents that people like you are interested in the things that we have. Your background and motivation to get involved. The motivation is the drama of your story. For me, the motivation, and, and trust me, I did not grow up wanting to be a network marketer. Okay, I didn't even know what a network marketer was, you know, 35 years ago. The motivation was the key. I was motivated to take an entirely different path in my life for, uh, because of the needs of my son. What's your motivation? And right now, I want you to put in your notes this phrase. Why is more important than how? Why is more important than how? And folks, everybody, most of you came here today, especially those of you that are newer and don't know what we do on, on this broadcast. You came here today wanting to figure out, uh, wanting to learn, how do I do this? How do I get customers? How do I get distributors? How do I build my distributorship up? How do I create this level of income, whatever level it is that you're, is your desire? 
honestly, that makes no difference at all. Why you do this is the most important thing. Something I was taught many years ago, when why becomes important enough, how will work itself out. And it always has. Uh, you know, all the things that people try to teach me about, you know, building a network marketing business. I haven't done any of those things. You know, I've done advertising. I mean, I got social media uh, profiles, uh, but I don't use them. Okay. I mean, they were actually set up for me by a company that told me they could get me all this, blah, blah, blah. All I wanted was a website so I could get a link on there so you guys could join my newsletter. That's all I wanted. You know, a $10 service item. Well, I don't even want to go in that story and tell you how much money I wasted on that. Um, the why you need to be successful is the most important thing. And so I'm going to challenge you right now. Make this your assignment uh, between now and next Saturday when we come back for the next training session. Take a few minutes and determine why you need to be successful and write them down. Write them down. Why do you need to have a certain level of income? Why do you need to have a certain level of lifestyle, a certain level of time freedom, a certain level of fun or meaning in your life? Why is that? Folks, you need to develop the why more than the techniques because it will serve you well. And when why becomes important enough, how will work itself out? You just got to trust me on that. Now, your background and motivation to get involved that's the first component of your story. Now, the second component of your story is kind of unique because now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be helping our prospective customer, our prospective distributor, giving them a path to follow. Second component of your story, how you got started and what you did. Now, how you got started, me personally, I bought the biggest package ZJ had, okay? You might have bought, you know, the, the, the middle package or the small package. Whatever your story is on how you got started, it ultimately revolves around making a commitment to invest in your business through the purchase of products. And that's critical to help the new person understand this is how we all got started. I purchased some of the Zija products how, how you got started and what you did. And then I plugged into the simple duplicatable system. I plugged into the weekly trainings. I plugged into the weekly webinars. What you're doing is you're establishing, giving that prospective distributor a path to follow. So your background and motivations, stage one of your story, your background and motivation to get started that's helping the prospective distributor envision themselves there. You know, they may not be a truck driver, but any guy that's in, in, in blue collar, the trades, what have you, can relate to a truck driver. And most people can relate to, may not be their motivation, but can relate to wanting to provide for their children. First step is them seeing themselves as being part of what we do. Second step, a path to follow. Most people, I genuinely believe this, if they desire to have more and you have a vehicle that they believe they can do, all they really need to know is what should I do? Purchase some product, plug into the system. Don't strive to be the trainer. Okay. Personally, I would prefer not to be the trainer, but I also know that I have a lot of knowledge and experience that can be beneficial to many people. Now, interestingly enough, as I am now back in the game, as we say, developing new distributors, I am not focused on being the trainer, but rather bringing them to other people. Because if you have to be the trainer to be successful, then most people will never start. I prefer to be the traffic director. Go over here and talk to this person. Go over here and watch that person's webinar and what have you. Third component of your story is results. In the beginning, most people don't think they have the results 
that are going to be meaningful to for in the recruiting process. And that couldn't be a bigger mistake, folks. Whatever your results are, are documentation that the products work, the opportunity works. Now, on day one, you may not have, uh, you know, product results for your story, income results for your story. So what you're going to share is the results of your team. Okay, so day one, you know, I'm a, I'm a cross country truck driver. I'm looking for a way to provide, you know, better resources, uh, financial resources for my son. Uh, I made a decision today to buy some of the company's products, and I'm going to plug into the uh, simple system that that's being available for uh, to to teach me. And I'm excited because members of my team have already lost five, 10, 15, 20, 100 pounds. And many of the members of the team are already in a short period of time making two or three hundred dollars a week, you know, a thousand dollars a month. And I'm excited about my opportunity with them. Day one, no results. The results that you're sharing in your story are the results of others. But if your focus is to build your business, to build your client base, get on the products. You need to lose a few pounds, lose two or three pounds your first week. And in my first week, I lost three pounds and I'm actually feeling better than I've felt in a long time. You don't have to have a 50 pound, 100 pound weight loss to have a story that documents the value of the products. In my first week, I've already made $87 and this is so much fun. Let me tell you who that's going to affect. Somebody who needs an extra $87. And in, you know, honestly, if you think about it, most of, of our country, two or three hundred dollars a week would change their life. And so you don't have to have, you know, a Dr. Gala Gates story, a medical doctor leaving her practice to provide you know, real wellness to her client base. And she's, I don't know what Gayla's lost. I think she's over 50, 60 pounds or something like that. You don't have to be, you know, a Fred Holmes or a Mike Crane or a David Moses or a Pat Anderson or any of those people that, you know, make unbelievable money. I mean, it's like crazy money. You don't have to be that person because 90% of the people will join your business if you can show them a path to making an extra 10 or $15,000 a year two or three hundred dollars a week and it doesn't change their life and some of those people will see a, a path for them to go and do that for others which will then allow them to have the extraordinary levels of income so hopefully that helps with your story incidentally uh, on my youtube channel under the playlist tab you will see uh, a video that talks about the story and so i encourage you to go review that all right that'll be very helpful to you now, I want to kind of transition now and take a couple of minutes and talk to you about something else. And see, one of the things that was shared with me, and I was very fortunate, the core principles uh, of success, the core principles, the philosophies uh, of this profession was what I grew up on, okay? This is second nature to me. And, and I, have to, I have to remember the very few people go that far back in our industry. Um, you know, most of you, uh, you know, weren't many of you weren't around when I started in the industry, or if you were, you know, they, they wouldn't let you walk out in the street without holding an adult's hand, okay? These kinds of things are the important things. Uh, it's so much fun working with people like Reed Nelson, um, you know, uh, Pat and Mac, uh, you know, uh, Pat Terry Mac McDonald. Because these folks have been around, David Moses, they've been around in this industry for decades. And they grew up on these core principles, the fundamentals, the, the, the foundational philosophies that have created success. And so I want to start this process. This is really what I want to do over the next, you know, eight to 10 weeks. Um, but I'm going to be throwing in, of course, you know, the the, the actual to do part stuff, the, 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 not the techniques, but the, um, the activities that create success. Uh, but I wanna take a few minutes and I wanna talk about this concept. In our business, as in most situations, okay, there are really three things that you're gonna need to master, okay? 
in our business, network marketing, one of the things you're gonna to need to master is the product, okay? And I'm not gonna talk about the product today, okay? Um, but you're gonna to need to master the products. Now, when I say master the products, I'm not saying become a doctor and a PhD and have a lab coat and know all the ingredients and how to spell them, okay? That's not what I mean by master the products. By master the products, I mean learn about the products. Learn about what the products do for people, not how they do it. Don't worry about cellular stuff, but what they do for people so that you can be uh, an educated uh, recommender so that somebody comes to you with, you know, I want to lose some weight. I want to get a little more fit. I'm actually, you know, at a good body weight. I want to get more muscle, whatever. All right. That you can be a good consultant and recommend products to them. And you know the preferred ways to use those products. That's how you're going to be very successful in selling the product is because you're good at helping people select the right products and good at teaching them how to use them. Now, I'll give you another thing that's going to be really helpful for those of you that are like me and you, and you, you know, you don't like to, to, well, you're not good at learning all the ingredients and all that kind of stuff. You don't want to spend decades of, of doing that. Testimonials are more important than knowledge. Okay, write that in your notes. Testimonials are more important than knowledge. It is better to know a story, somebody else's story of success and results on a product, than to know all of the chemical and uh, you know and nutrient ingredients and why they work so well in your body. Okay, buy my story on that. All right, now you're going to want to master the products. Okay, what's the second thing you can do? You're going to want to master our, you know, compensation and marketing plans, okay? How we make money and the things that we do. And I'm not really going to talk so much about that right now either, because frankly, that's not a big deal. You spend an hour or two, spend 30 minutes watching the new distributor training video that I, I mentioned earlier, and you're going to learn our marketing system, how we share our products, how we share our opportunity, how we build up a distributor you're going to get the foundational elements of that in 30 minutes. Spend, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes with us, you'll learn the compensation plan, okay? How we make the money. I'm not saying that, that that's a big deal. I am saying when I say master it, you're going to want to be comfortable being able to share with people our marketing systems, how we generate customers, how we develop a distributor organization. Uh, you're going to want to be comfortable with how we get paid, okay, so that you can share that with others and help guide others on, on the things that they want to do, little finer nuances of structuring their organization, that sort of thing. But that's not hard. You know, spend 30 minutes on the comp plan, learning from somebody that's familiar with it. Spend 30 minutes learning our marketing systems, like, for instance, watching that 30-minute uh, video. <coughs> What I want to talk about is the third ingredient, which is you. You will need to master you. And I want you to look at it like this. Today is what, the 15th? 15th of February. And, you know, right now, watching this video, there are people here in Zija that have already made, you know, $5,000 in the first two weeks of the month. And there are people watching this video that have only made $500 this month. Now, I want you to think about what's the difference between the person that's made $5,000 and the person that's made $500. <coughs> well, it's not the products, okay? We don't have any special products that only people like me and Mike Crane get to sell, okay? No, no. We all get to sell the same product. And it's not a, you know, a special marketing system that, you know, only, you know, the top people get to pick, get to use, right? That gives us so many customers or such great distributors or special, you know, we don't get 10% more money in the cycle pay than people that aren't us, right? <coughs> if, the, if the products are the same and the pay plan is the same, then the only difference between somebody making $5,000 so far this month versus $500 this, so far this month is obviously the person. <coughs> Pardon me, folks. 
Actually, a little scotch would help that tickle, but um, too early, right? Now, you, that third component, you're the determining factor <coughs> in this equation. And I have to tell you, most people, most, not all, most people, it, it, most everybody I've ever met has wanted to be above average. We have an uh, above average income, uh, above average lifestyle, above average, you know, health, above average, you know, physique, what have you. And the interesting thing is, is that most people don't understand how simple that is. I'm going to share a few things with you because these are core principles that once you get it and you start exercising these core principles, there will be nothing that will stop you from achieving things that you still yet have not even been able to dream about. And, and I'll use myself as an example. 35 years ago, as I understood it, $10,000 a month, a six-figure income was rich. I could not even imagine back then what life would be like today. So I want you to write these down in your notes. I'm going to go pretty quickly here. You can have anything that you want because you can become more than you are. You have what you have today because of who you are. My very first sponsor, I mean, just shocked me, but he drove home this point. He said, Fred, how much are you worth? I said, 100,000 a year. And he said, no, you're not. I mean, that was rude. He asked me, how much was I worth? And I put that in terms of, you know, my willingness to work, my willingness to learn, my burning desire to succeed. He said, how much are you worth? 100,000 a year. And he said, no, you're not. And, and, and that hurt, okay, because nobody, I mean, I had a white hot burning desire to succeed. The point he was making is if I was worth $100,000 a year, I'd be being paid $100,000 a year. And see, there is no value in not being aware of reality, okay? You can say you're worth this, but the numbers never lie. If your desire is to create this level of income, you will have to get to that level of being to achieve that. Now, Jim Rohn said it this way. He said, the good news is, while you can only have at the level that you have become, the good news is you can have more because you can become more. Here's how you do it. You can, you know, for, for things to get better, you have to get better. And, and I'd heard that before, but it never really sunk home to me until I started in this profession. For things to get better, you have to get better. For things to change, you have to change. The saddest condition in the world is for somebody who desires more but is unwilling to become the person that you need to become to have more. And everybody can become more. Um, you have to be willing to work harder on yourself than you work on the products, the compensation plan, the marketing system. For me, I will tell you that in the, in the, in the three and a half decades I've been in this profession, there's a couple of things that I've learned because I've seen many, many people over the years, you know, come and go and succeed. Some didn't. Everything revolves around what you're willing to do for you, okay? How we make money in our business, frankly, that's pretty simple. How do you get customers? Pretty simple. How do you develop customers that become long-term, you know, month after month, year after year, creating residual income? How do you do that? Pretty simple. How do you develop distributors? How do you find them? prospecting how do you uh, get the get them involved how do you build their businesses which builds yours that's all really pretty simple honestly 
It's the U factor that is the part to focus on because it's the only thing that'll make a difference. And it's the one thing that you have control over. And so uh, I, I intend over the next eight to 10 weeks to be sharing several different things that have made all the difference in the world to me and to my family and to many friends and business associates. Uh, but just be very clear on this. If you, what you take home from today's session, two things, okay? The story. Your story will be the most important tool in your arsenal of building your business. So learn how to do that story well. Number two, the only thing that separates you from wherever you want to be forever for whatever level of lifestyle you desire, physical wellness and so on, um, is you. For things to change, you must change. For things to get better, you got to get better. The good news is that's not that hard when why you need the success becomes important enough. So remember your homework assignment this week. Take a few minutes, take all the time you need. Decide why do you need to have what you're dreaming of? Okay, and it can't be just for the money. Okay, maybe this will help you. Decide what would the money bring you if you could. People set goals, I want to make 100,000 a year, I want to make 500,000 a year, whatever. It's just numbers. What would that level of money bring to your life? So, uh, in the time I have left, I'm going to go check and see if we got some questions. Yeah, if you got questions, I'll do my best to answer it. If you have answers, I got my pen ready because I've been looking for the answer. All right, hang on a second here. Let's see. All right, wow. What do we got here? Uh, Fred Holmes YouTube channel. That's a, that's a, is that my channel? Now I got to find that one out. Let me put that in there and, uh, uh, sure enough, that's my channel. All right, so that's the uh, the uh, the non-vanity name. And if you go to uh, www.youtube.com forward slash Fred Holmes Egypt, it'll get you to the same place. Let's see here. Uh, Aloha, Mike. I'm going to back up a little ways. Stay in the course. Of course you are, my dear. Lorene, love you and Ray. You're in the right place, and you're going to the top. Mark my words. Uh, you're hot. Shauna and I are hiking up a mountain. Well, good for you guys. Uh, let's see. There is an option. To tell the story. Uh, you guys really need to, to, to be checking out. Uh, Lorraine does such a great job of captioning what I say. Um, you need a pro shot. You know, thank you, Mary. Yes, I do. And I realized I'd run out. And uh, I think it was two days ago, I was opening up one of the boxes of Z just show up at my house all the time, right? I was opening up a box. I started pulling stuff out of it, and I pulled out six bags of uh, of uh, the, the Pro Shield throat lozenges. And I was in there grabbing some, uh, actually some Zango juice. I I run out of the bottle in the refrigerator. I looked at the sixth bottle and going, I haven't got a single one of those in the house. I should get one in, and I didn't. So thank you very much. Um, uh, thank you, uh, uh, Diane. I appreciate that. Um, let's see here. I'm not seeing any questions. I appreciate the kudos, folks. I really do. And, and many of you are much too kind, um, frankly, because I listen to myself afterwards because I try to improve. And, and I know I'm, I'm not bad, I'm not great, not bad. But I appreciate the kudos anyway. Thank you very much. But what I really want is a question. If, if you do have a question, folks, let me try to do my best to answer it. But I can share this with you. I've spent a lot of time in the last, and I can't believe it's only been two weeks. Um, it was a uh, week before last, I was in um, uh, Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, I was uh, blessed to be part of that, you know, top 20 earner trip that went out to, to meet the owners of, uh, of our new company, uh, meet the corporate team, tour the facilities, get our questions answered and that sort of thing. And I've spent a lot of time looking at, you know, the history of Zija. Uh, the history of, uh, of the new company we're merging with, Isagenix, and 
the the people that have come into my life over the last 12 years that I've been part of this company. And it's when part of what's prompted me to go back into the archives. I'm trying to, I wonder what the date is on this. Dang. First date I saw, looks like this one's eight years old, 2012. Um, to go back into the archives and start recalling some of the things that, you know, that have been foundational, not just to my success, but to so many other people uh, that have been involved in this profession. And what I know is that those of you that are willing to embrace what's happening, to focus on the core principles, to build your business for others, not for yourself, to operate within you know, the core philosophies, honesty, integrity, authenticity, to be willing to give more than you get, to be willing to care more about your customers' results on the products than you care about the money you made, care more about your new distributor's paycheck than you care about your own. The, these are the things that help me become successful 35, between 25 and 35 years ago, that first decade of multi-level. It's the same things that I brought to the table when I joined Zija. And, and honestly, this last decade in Zija has eclipsed the, the success that I had in the previous company. And, and I can tell you right now, there's, no, there's not one single iota of doubt in my mind. Those of you that are willing to take the time to learn and embrace these core principles, stick to the fundamentals, don't get distracted by all the shiny objects of you know techniques and strategies and so on. Be focused on those core principles of you know philosophy, um, you know, uh, 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 you know your your personal philosophy. So many of you, over the next three years, will be able to take will be able to create results in your life that'll make the kinds of things that I've done look like chump change because of this incredible opportunity that you have. And you know, what if you, you failed miserably and only got halfway there? Okay, think about that for a minute. What if you know eclipsing what I've done isn't the mark that you leave, but you can only do half of that? It'll be the greatest thing that'll ever happen in your life. So uh, one last check here on the questions. Uh, my belief is you don't jump ship when the waters are rough, adjust and set your stale. Thank you, Laureen. Okay, I appreciate that. Uh, so, lo so long as you understand that everything happens for a reason, we don't have to understand what the reason is. What we have to do is have the belief that everything will work out, so long as we do the working part. So with that, okay, I'm at the top of the hour, uh, end of my allotted time. Uh, folks, Hopefully, this has been of help to you. If it hasn't, trust me, I'll get better next week. But I intend over the next eight to 10 weeks, which will correspond to about the transition time, I'm hoping. Yes, I said I'm hoping. I'm like everybody else. Wish the transition took place yesterday so we could be moving forward without distractions and lack of focus. Hey, we're just going to have to do what we, what we got to do. But in preparation, I want to give every single one of you an opportunity to at least start with the foundational elements that were given to me many years ago. My first company, I spent two years there, was my training ground. The second company, and I had to make a transition. Okay, I understand that. And, and let me just share this, folks. Not everybody's path is the path that we take. Okay? You know, you can, you know, we can still be believers, we can still go to church just doesn't have to be the same church, all right? And I'm okay with that. But the, 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 these fundamental principles that I was able to acquire in those first two years and experience propelled me in the second company 
to be what they thought was an overnight superstar. I was an overnight superstar. It just took two years to get there. With Zijin, because this was a very part-time process for me, because it was a very small company and very slow growth curve at the time, I wasn't an overnight superstar. Then all of a sudden, three years later, I was. It only took three years to get there, right? So I'm excited for every single one of you. Uh, please, if, if, uh, if you haven't done so already, um, you know, sign up for my newsletter. You know, you'll get the, you know, periodic emails from me. Go to fredholmes.com. That's my personal website. Click on contact. Um, there'll be a place there where you can, it says sign up for my newsletter. It's my team email list. Everybody's invited. Um, go to the YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com forward slash Fred Holmes Zija. Subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications. That way you'll be notified when, uh, when I post a, you know, either a business presentation or, or a training. Uh, friend me on Facebook. You know, I'm at Fred W. Holmes. Everybody asks, what's the W for? What's well, my middle name? W for wealth. No, it's West, actually. I was the first Holmes born on the West Coast. My father thought that was cool, I guess. Uh, so, you know, at Fred W. Holmes, uh, you know, uh, friend me there. We keep in touch. And folks, don't be shy. Reach out to me. My information's all over the internet. You know, for good time, call Fred. No. Uh, reach out to me. If I can be of help, I want to be able to support every single person because your success is going to then attract somebody to my business. And so helping you with your success helps me as well. All right, we're done. Uh, have a great rest of your weekend, folks. We'll see you next week. Have a, uh, uh, oh, uh, Wednesday evening, go to clubmoringa.com for Pat Anderson's Health Talks with Pat. Wednesday evening, 930 Eastern. Thursday evening, we're going to have a special Biz Talks presentation. Uh, I'll be hosting that one. That's five, uh, uh, 8.30 Eastern time. And you can access that through um, fredholmes.com forward slash webinar. Those are the standard leaks. And then back in Saturday morning. All right, now I'm out of here. Have a great rest of your weekend.